pastor comes up to me and says, Seth, I have a prophetic word for you. I said, oh, come on. Awesome. He said, I saw you at a beach house for 30 days with your family. And you were on a beach, white sand beaches. The house was right on the beach. And you were with your family 30 days on the beach. I said, oh, man, come on, Jesus. <laughs> and then he said, the door to the beach house said, no Wi-Fi. I thought, man, that's, thank you. This is so good. What a powerful. I just, I went back to my hotel. I was like, I can't practically write this minute, leave for a month and take my family to a beach house. But what if I tried 30 days, no Wi-Fi? What would happen to me? Not, not Wi-Fi like all day, like I need it for work. I need it for, I need the internet. <laughs> Please believe me, I need the internet. I thought, what if I, what if I, not a beach house, but what if in my house when I was with my kids and with my wife, what if I just fully disconnected from the internet? What would happen to my relationship with them? And before I came home, I decided I'm going to start, I'm going to do this. So I get home and I spent 30 days with no internet at my house and in the car with my kids. Anytime I was with, like, we went to the lake and I, one day I left my phone at home. Home on purpose. <laughs> How many of you have done that in the last two years? Oh, a few of you. Some of you. That's a miracle. <clears throat> now, you got to understand, for me to take 30 days and not have Wi-Fi is like, look, I'm all about the internet. I'm all about technology. I have a brand new phone Every time something new comes out, I just want to get it. Like, I am a fan of technology. I enjoy technology. If I could have four phones, I would have four phones. I am like, give me as many phones as I could possibly have because I love technology. I enjoy it so much. I like social media so much. I like Facebook. I like Instagram. I like Snapchat. I like story. I like all of it. Man, I like it so much. So for me to say, like, 30 days, no Wi-Fi, that's, please hear me, that's not, that wasn't as, like, it wasn't super easy, if, you know, of a decision to make. Like, I'm the kind of guy, like, I'm the guy that sits around and thinks, how, if I was in charge of creating Facebook Junior, what would it take? Hmm. <clears throat> If I could make Snapchat Junior, Instagram Junior, what would that look like? What would it be? Do you, you do know that Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all social media has a 13-year-old boundary. Children are not supposed to be on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, any of those until they're 13. Now you gotta hear this. If you're a parent, please make sure the world does not have better boundaries with your kids than you do. There's a reason. There is a reason the world says, don't let 12 and under get on here. Because the content is definitely not filtered for 12 and under. So I'm the guy that's like, how do we create safe social media that's really actually safe? <clears throat> So for me to make a decision like that is kind of big. Like, I'm the kind of guy that I learn how to be a better parent because of social media. Like, I have this whole thought, what's the algorithm to have a peaceful home? 